A lot, a lot of the stuff you want to work on is like your weapons. So you want to get your castle up there. Um, also depends on you want your dragons. But but yeah, so if you want to increase your might like overall, you want to work on every other character, like not just one character. For me, I did that. I just did one character. See more depends on your equipment, uh, your dragon, and your worm print. That usually gives you the boost. So yeah, I was playing four stars the whole time. Luca, you get from the game, just playing story mode. And I liked him since because he's a light archer. Yeah, so you can enhance. I mean, let me show you. You can actually enhance this, right? You actually enhance this, and then you can make a stronger version of that. So you can work on unbinding these. And you want to get to your castle level four as fast as possible. Just letting you know. So try to macro as much as you can. Um, start with small buildings, they give you a lot of facility level. So, um, one of my friends is already... He already got to level 6 castle, no, level 5 castle. Yeah, so level 4. So right now, I cannot... So, my smithy, it, it requires me to level, like, the castle, right? And in order for the smithy, I needed... I can't enhance right now. Uh, I want to make an elemental weapon. Oops, sorry. You go to crafting, you go to enhance. Um, I want to enhance this, right? To the new elementals, it's a tree for each weapon. And FYI, you want to match the element with the element of the character you want to use this weapon on, otherwise, you don't get the benefits on here. Yeah, see it right down here? It requires level 6. So, you can get the elemental or you can leave it at the second tier, the second column. Decent enough, because then once you get to four, you get you get new weapons, right? You get a you get to unlock the next the four star ones. So you don't want to get too committed. Even right now, it's taking me a while to get to seven. Yeah. Do that for all your characters though. Then your might will like always, always check on your castle frequently. You know you want to macro. Oh yeah, if you want to use your Worm Knights, it's always a good investment to get some uh, get some builders. It costs 250 for the first one, and then I think 400 for the second one, and then you get up to 5. So it's a good investment, because you're going to need a lot of facility level. Right now I need 200 to upgrade this. So that's what I'm going for right now. Okay, so... Solo is what you use your stamina for to create, right? And then, but the AI is kind of stupid, but yeah, that's pretty much it. You can do solo, you can auto battle, auto battle in solo. It doesn't, it doesn't get chests and barrels for you. So it's kind of just skipping and it's trying to just finish the dungeon as fast as possible. Um, but co-op, um, everyone else has their own dragon bar. So it's a lot easier, easier, but you use your wings for co-op. So when you're creating co-op rooms and stuff like that, um, it uses your stamina, but if you join a room, it uses your wings. But yeah, there's no real reason except you don't you don't get the auto battle. You have to, you have to play in co-op. You gotta actually gotta move and do stuff. Okay, so solo is what you use your stamina for to create, right? And then, but the AI is kind of stupid, but yeah, that's pretty much it. You can do solo, you can auto battle, auto battle in solo. It doesn't, it doesn't get chests and barrels for you. So it's kind of just skipping and it's trying to just finish the dungeon as fast as possible. Um, but co-op, um, everyone else has their own dragon bar. So it's a lot easier, easier but you use your wings for co-op. So when you're creating co-op rooms and stuff like that, um, it uses your stamina, but if you join a room, it uses your wings. But yeah, there's no real reason except you don't you don't get the auto battle. You have to you have to play in co-op, you gotta actually gotta move and do stuff. For power you can totally auto duel it, no problem. You can just auto duel it, because there's no chest to pick up and whatnot. If you're high enough power that is. Might, no messing power. 
But sometimes I like to keep track and then I know when to do skills because they don't do skills either. Um, and they just kind of just do random things. Sometimes they don't dodge. My character doesn't dodge. Yeah, Sam out. So you know how it's auto enable, but the auto, the AI auto sucks because it will skip all the chests and stuff. Um, so sometimes you kind of want to, you have you use the auto for the moving and attacking, but sometimes you want to dodge and stuff. So it's semi auto, it's not fully auto move. And here I'm just gonna run through, right? So you gotta kind of take it and then hit all these chests. You know you can use for training? Then you let it discontinue. Yeah, for this one, it actually gives yeah. you have 50 wings. Yeah, yeah. You, eventually, you get to like me, where I'm at six. So yeah, so um, you can use your stamina and then whatever you can you can instantly level right since you're, you're you can level up pretty quickly right now since you started yesterday. So just keep doing dungeons and just clearing stuff, co-op as much as you can since you got 50 wings. Um, so you always want to since 50 wings is the cap. Right, you want to go at least down to 44 before you level up. Because if you level up while you're at 50, it won't go any higher. And if you try to level up when you're at 45, you'll only go up to 50, even though even though you get 6. Yeah, every level up you get your stamina, max stamina, and your max wings. And it adds on to whatever your thing is. So if I were to level up right now, I would get 12 for my 6 wings. Frames. Yes. Okay. Okay. I know. Invisibility frames. How the monsters have like specific AOEs, right? Different colors. One's like red. One's orange. And one's purple. Um, when you when you do red and like orange, I believe. Yeah. You, when you do a skill, right? You get invisibility frames. So when when you when you're in the AOE circle, if you do a skill at that moment while you're casting it, you don't get hit by the AOE or whatever the skill is, right? But for purple ones. Yeah, you don't need to dodge. You can just do your skill, and you get invisibility for that for that duration of the skill. I have no need of right. Um, I, I will show you during the raid. Um, hopefully. Yeah. So, so you can do dragon shape shift. You can do a specific skill. Um, but but purple ones, you cannot dodge them with your invisibility frame. They will hit you for sure. So you have to get out of the area for the purple. So yeah, that that's that's the color scheme of those. I mean, you can pretty much make any character good. So I pretty much made him five star. Yeah. Took me a lot of L waters. Okay, another tip is to um, do not use your three stars uh, dragons or um, three stars worm prints. Or feeding, you want to sell them because L waters are very rare of a resource. These the the blue thing on the top on the bottom right here. They're super rare, and you need them to promote or to, in this case, unlock skills. Yeah. Oh no. Well, now you know. So keep keep that in mind. And you only get them if you summon duplicates, right? In your in your summon, and eventually you won't be summoning as much like me right now. I need gems to summon now, 1500, not that much. Oh, you go to your collection, right? And then you can go to Worm Print, you click sell. I don't have any right now, but yeah. So on the bottom here, you see the L water here. Always do your Dragon Roost, max it out. Use all your money. If you need money, run the fortune. Here, I'll show you. Max, 30. So the max level for Bond. And once you're level 30, you unlock a sh the shiny stone thing. Place. Treasure trade. We got 10 of them. You can um, you get one of these sunlight ores. And then if you get 10 of these, you can change into sunstone. And you can use this to bind any 5 star dragon. So Onslaught, um, you get these coins. These are super hard. Just let, You have to co-op these. Just letting you know. So you get these coins, and these coins you can yeah onslaught. So once you beat the story mode, you unlock this mode. It's a super hard co-op map. Um, so yeah, these coins you can use that to go to the treasure trade again. Treasure trade is your friend. Oh shit! What's this, dude? I never I never saw this in my life. This is new. 
I think this just came out. Interesting, okay. But yeah, okay, so Onslaught, you can go trade, and then you can unlock these dojos. Yeah, so you do get a, I don't know I want to spoil it, but you do get a, a statue at the end, after you beat the story, or like the wind thing. But I don't use wind dragons, so no point in upping my dragons. But yeah, you get these dojos, and depending on which one you want to use, like right now I'm using bow, but I already got it. You use this coin to unlock these buildings, and these buildings, well, these buildings are OP, right? So it affects every wand unit you use, it gives you the bonus here. And in order to upgrade, you need, um, you need these coins, and then you get them from Onslaught. Fire. Upcoming event, upcoming event. Excited, hype man. Let's, uh, let's use that summoning ticket that I just got. Single summon. Do the magic ritual. I don't, don't have it. Dude! Dude! Single summon. Oh, snaps! Oh! My prize dragon. I can unbind it now. Snaps, man. I think once you get to um, once every time every time you unbind like a specific monster or something, you unlock the next level of the skill. So um, the gene passive right now is forty percent, right, for life HP. When you unbind it fully, it becomes sixty percent. So I, I pretty much I'm a tank arc. In the beginning, you can use your um, treasure, your gold. Get these upgrade essentials, they're pretty nice. You want to get this uh, secrete water because it's, it's hard to level up your worm prints. Because the only way, pretty much, to level up your worm print is to use like level 2 worm prints and water. That's pretty much it. And you can't farm the water, there's no dungeon to farm the water like the other ones. Like, you get crystal for your character, you can, you can grind dragon event dungeons for your dragon fruits. Right, and then, um, weapons you get them everywhere. But knight testaments and those testament ones, you have to get them from events. But you won't probably see them until you get to like the higher tier of mana circles. Right. Oh, this guy's dude. Never run a. No, I'm not gonna do this. Don't run a win character in a fire raid boss. I don't know, I never bought it. Yeah, running wind and fire, like... <laughs> Even if it's your other party member, don't do it. That's like, should be the unspoken rule here. Yeah. Well, I mean, even if it's paid to win right now, it's like... In the end... Hopefully it just stays completely cooperative. So even if the whales... There's whales, you know? Um, in the end, they're just helping you because you end up raining with them. So... It's like, like, like right now, I'm higher level and I can just help you out whenever, like, you need a dungeon run. So hopefully it stays completely cooperative. 